Okay, like Steve said, I'm not gonna drag way out here because look where his knee is pointing, that way. I gotta, I gotta point my pelvis opposite his knee. And in order to do that, I'd have to go full 180 degrees. I don't wanna do that, I wanna go 90 degrees, okay? So instead, back up for me. I'm gonna drag him and keep my hands nice and tight, okay? I should be able to like tap my hand with it, okay? And that way when I come over, See how tight that is? Okay. Yep. Yeah, well, that is double trouble. Knee, <laughs> knee, knee lock and, and arm lock together. Pop that out, drop my knee, kick over, and see where it goes. Even if I lose his arm, he's right there. If I keep his arm, then it's literally double trouble. I'm gonna go this way. Okay. Okay. Drag that over. Kick over. And see how I can just pull him right in there? Yeah. Okay? It's super, super tight, and your knees don't have to be perfect. They're in, which makes this possible. If it was straight, I wouldn't be able to bar him. Like, I just straighten my knee now. Notice also, guys, Eric's, or Derek's yeah. on his right hip. He's not on his back. By being on his hip, he has more, he can arch his hips a lot when I'm, more violently, actually, a lot, lot harder. When I'm here, I can go all the way over that way. When I'm here, I have to literally push him and me up, right? Okay, when I'm down, I've got my weight in, so it makes it worse. I like either down, like belly down, or to the side. Usually it's the side for me because I can arch way back and really get him. And it's a lot easier when you're rolling because people naturally don't want to go belly down. So, <clears throat> one more time, keep this nice and tight. Let's go that way. Okay, I got, I got this nice and low, drop my knee, pop that over, keep a hold of his arm, and just pull him in, okay? Because I have a hold of his hand, it's right in between my, you know, right there. He's stuck, and I can literally pull his leg in between my legs and just bridge.